Good morning, everyone. It has been a long night. Oh, can you believe in two weeks it's going to be Christmas time? And yesterday we had temperatures between 74 and 78 degrees, which unfortunately has led to a massive outbreak of tornadoes in and around where I live. So while my community where I live did not directly get hit. Communities around us did, and I do know people in the communities in both Tennessee and in Kentucky who were affected by the tornadoes that happened overnight. So needless to say, we did have tornado warnings where I live, so we were up and down most of the night. There were two different rounds of storms that came through, so it did make for a very long night, which you know, brings me to thinking about a reality check that I didn't even think about when I've been working on these reality checks. What about weather conditions? What about hazardous weather conditions, um, just storms, different things that could come up when you might be having a party or a get together or things like that? This is something very serious that you need to think about because these types of things can happen at any time. Just because they don't normally happen during Christmas, they may. What if a, um, if you live where there's hurricanes, what if a hurricane pops up out of nowhere? What is gonna be your protocol? If you're having parties or get togethers, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna be canceling? Are you going to have alternative dates? Um, what happens if something comes up during your actual party, maybe it was just supposed to rain and not flood, but all of a sudden it's flooding. You know, what are you going to do? Um, what if, even though like with the tornadoes, we were warned yesterday and actually for several days, we've been warned that bad weather was going to come. These are going to be the worst tornadoes, uh, since May of this past year. And, you know, we've known this. Well, should you cancel a party if you know weather is coming? Should you postpone it? If not, what are you going to do in order to um, keep all of your people safe? You know, don't don't throw all your stuff into the basement if you live in where there could be a tornado and all of a sudden you need to get everybody into the basement because there's a tornado warning. We even had a party to go to last night and we opted to not because of what they were saying about the weather. So be weather aware when you're getting close to your party and be thinking about that. Not only if you're hosting stuff, but if you're going to something, you know, are you prepared for where you're going? If you get stuck, if, um, if you get put in a snowstorm, you know, what would be your alternative plans? Think about these things ahead of time so that you can deal with them easily. My heart goes out to all of the people who have lost everything, including lives in Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, Arkansas. It, it just, my heart breaks. This close to the holiday season, you know that there's gonna be just heartbreak all around. Um, I, I just can't even imagine. We've had two major tornadoes go through the town that we live in and it's just, you're just numb for, for weeks and months around what has happened. And my heart just aches for the people. And, you know, if there's anything that you can do when you see things come up if, uh, through the Red Cross or um, other organizations, I know that um, the United Methodist Church has UMCOR and they go in to disaster areas like this donate to any of these organizations that would be helping the tornado victims because they need it. Um, this is devastating. It's not something that you can prepare for. Um, it's just devastating and um, they have a long road ahead of them. I know people who have lost businesses. I know people whose houses have been damaged and if they, and I know people who, if they were not directly affected, they know people who were affected, maybe their family members. So please keep them in your prayers 
and if there's some organization that you can support that is supporting the tornado victims, please reach out and donate to them during the season. I don't want this video to really get into a lot of other things. Christmas is two days away. I mean, two days, two weeks away from today. And um, there's a lot to do. I have a lot to do today here at the house to get things done. And I'll come back in and check in with some um, videos on Christmas planning and the reality checks and things like that later on this afternoon and into this evening. But for right now, just please continue to um, pray and do anything that you can to reach out to support um, the people from the tornadoes. That's all I can say. Um, they're going to need it. And remember, keep calm and jingle on and just love each other and show some Christmas kindness. I'll check in with y'all later on.